Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock, straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of Transformers Prime, Beast Hunters Optimus Prime. This is a Voyager class figure, pretty big box too. I got, man, I can barely fit this guy in frame. So yeah, there he is. That's uh, Predacon, I forgot his name. So there we go. I like this. Very Fisher Price-like, I'm not going to lie. Seeing when was this released, I forget. So there's the side of the box, and of course... When it comes to Optimus, he is like armed to the teeth. Top of the box. Bottom of the box. So you got, yeah, Predaking. So there you go. And he's got firing cannon and Nexus Sword and Vector Shield. And man, that this this guy is freaking armed to the teeth. He's got this little vector shield. A little firing cannon. I'll show you. And this thing fires. It's not spring loaded, but it can definitely fire. All I have to do is push this tab forward and it fires. Most definitely. And Vector Shield firing Nexus Sword loaded to the teeth. Very Fisher Price like. I like the Autobot symbol in the top right there. But this guy, tell you the truth, he, he sees an anomaly. He looks like he could be Energon. Something came back from like 2004 or something rather than something. It's like 10 years out of place. 2003 instead of a. Uh, Whenever this thing came out, 2013. So, yeah. Ratchet joints all over the place. He has a hinge over here. Ratchet joint, <coughs> excuse me, ratchet joint on the sh elbow, or sorry, shoulder. It's bicep swivel. Humongous figure, by the way. It's like nine inches tall. Almost 19. Ratchet joint there. No swivel on the fist, which is very disappointing. No swivel. It, it does have a waist swivel, but more for transformation. The head's just on a hinge. It moves up and down. That's it. And I know that the shoulders can shrug a little bit. Again, no sway swivel. Very limited. Ratcheted. Again, that's another throwback from the Energon is the ratchets. Swivel on the knee for some reason. Ratchet on the knee again. Piv ankle pivots over here. And the thing is, in order to display them because of the transformation, you're going to have to splay the legs apart just a tad. Let me show you how huge this figure is. There he is with Megatron. That's a deluxe figure. This is a regular size Voyager figure right there. So, yeah, he absolutely towers over people. I like this mode, even though it's very Fisher Price like. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention it comes with instructions. Very simple transformation, it only takes 11 steps, but quite frankly, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that simplicity. The guy looks good. It's sturdy, well built. Look at it. I mean, it's imposing. It's huge. I mean, for a Voyager size figure, it is humongous. All right, let's see if I don't jack up the transformation. But look, it has a Nexus sword for crying out loud. This humongous shield. So you, and it has the Autobot symbol. Yeah, it has a lot of things. It, it, to me, yeah, it looks very Fisher Push price like. It looks like it could have been released 10 years ago, but to me, it just, I don't know. It looks awesome. We're actually, in 2003, Vice 2013. All right, transformation. First thing we're going to do is put the head back down. Oh, great. And hopefully, I won't jack this up, but we're going to swivel the arms up. Great. Then we're going to pull the whole, see this little sw hip swivel here? Yeah, that hinge it over here and good. And the legs, we're just going to go ahead and just move that out of the way for now. So these things just go on back. And we're going to put, swivel the ankles down. All right, good. Let's get that out of the way. All right. One thing is I want to make sure to put these tires together because we're going this hinge right here or this swivel point right here we're going to swivel the entire yeah just like that we're going to swivel that all back around and that's the trickiest part for me i can't always seem to get that okay now it's coming into place okay i want to make sure that the arms there's a tab right here, and that tab's right in here. Same thing on the other side. Okay, 
So that makes it easier to transform, trust me. Not the most intuitive transformation. Now that we have that, these things will just retch it up, just like that. Same thing on the other side. Just pivot that up. And okay. There we go. And he snaps into place. Very sturdy. The legs, they just pretty much attach together. There's a tab right there, and this thing tabs right there. Awesome. That tabs right there. And maybe I yeah, should have put the arms in first. There we go. The arms in pretty good position. Vector shield. There's a tab right here that tabs right into there. So that kind of holds this together even more so. And it's a pretty sturdy dude. There we go. And if you want to hold his weapons, they got a nice little five mil port right here. And another one right on the other side. And man, this thing is freaking humongous. I'm just having Megatron over here. And look at that, it rolls really well. Not Maybe not all six wheels will roll at once, but man, it looks good. Again, very Fisher Price like, but I like it. It's so sturdy. It's so well built. Uh, it has this little claw thing, and I know that some of the parts aren't well hidden, but it looks good. It looks sturdy and well built. Something I know some of the modern ones you just don't get that nowadays. It just I don't know. I can overlook the flaws. I, I can overlook the simplicities because how well it looks. I wish it would have hid, hid some of the things a little better. The shield does a good job of putting everything, and that way it doesn't look like a, but it doesn't look like a, it's out of place, but it looks good. Seven out of 10 on this mode. All right, YouTuber, that's all I got, and I catch y'all next time.